Let's take a look at tree of thought. So tree of thought prompting is where the prompt instructs the model to explore possible states and transitions rather than trying to produce an answer immediately in a single chain of thought, basically creating a decision tree. And we kind of do this in the boot camp with um, uh, another one where it's the Japanese language, uh, uh, Japanese language construction helper, where we actually define states and tell it how to transition between uh, one and the other. But here's a diagram that you'll see a lot every time you look up a tree of thought, everyone's using the same diagram. So I pulled it as well. And so here you see on A, you have input output prompting. So that's just where you give it an input and you get an output like zero or few shot. Chain of thought prompting where we will tell it to um, uh, think about things through it. Then we have self-consistency with uh, chain of thought and, and, uh, 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 and self-consistency. So this is where it produces multiple things and uses voting to come to a final result. I don't think we made a slide on this, but it is another thing that we can do. And then we have tree of thought where um, it has multiple ways that it can go through uh, uh, logic. It can uh, add branches, remove branches. The idea is that it's not taking a, um, a, a, a linear line. It's going to evaluate multiple options to get to the end. So this one's a lot more complex, but I thought it was just really cool to uh, demonstrate here, okay?